What's up guys? Ice Toad here. So I'm going to go over some magic items that are really important to look for. You see right now, I think there's a lot of newcomers for Diablo 2 or just folks who haven't played Diablo 2 in a long time. Because I've heard this mentioned more than once that uh, one of my boys was in a game, let's say, and they noticed the strangers in that game were really only looking for unique items and green set items. Right, they're just passing up, like magic items, amulets, rings, uh, things like that, for example. Which I actually don't have any examples of in this video, amulets or rings, but I have examples of other magic item types that you need to be looking for. But yeah, keep an eye out for those. If you're farming hell, pick up the damn amulets, at least. You can get a 3 to traps amulet, for example, with an additional mod, 3 to uh, combat skills for the paladin, you know, things like that. But here's kind of what I've been up to lately. I've just been farming the Frigid Highlands. I'll murder Eldritch here, and then I'll murder Shank, and then I'll go murder Pendleskin. Uh, balance knives, things like that, that are rare, actually sell for a lot if you identify them. You can, also you can often sell them for max gold. So if you're short on gold, pick that shit up. And another benefit is they only take up two inventory slots. Uh, not fang knives, but the winged knives or whatever, the elite ones as well, are important to pick up. But I haven't found too many goodies. I'll show you her gear in just a moment here. Come on, dog. Ooh, look at this. Need to get rid of that. Shit. Too many... I I'm just, I'm hoarding too many things. Uh, let me know in the comments if you dogs have that problem as well. We just hoard so many goodies. Gotta check out this amulet. Junk. But here's her gear. Still using this POS. I probably should make a spirit and a crystal sword. Or a broadsword. I actually have a four socketed broadsword in my stash. And I think I found a Tau rune. Which reminds me, I need a perfect diamond to up these boots. Because your kick damage will increase if they're an exceptional or elite version of these boots. So you you want to up them to exceptional or nightmare version. All right, you can do that with uh, shale, towel, and a perfect diamond. You can do that with any normal, unique item that's an armor type. So boots, belt, armor. I don't know if shield is different, but uh, gloves, you know, just that recipe should up them. Spirit shield, Three to chaps. Now this is uh, one that doesn't have a suffix to it, only a prefix. So you can find them with a suffix attribute as well. Uh, so of course there are more desirable ones than others. Like I think you can get of the whale or something, or of the colossus, or, or whatever the amulet version of that is. Where I believe you can get up to a hundred life, so that would be cray cray. Three to traps, helm, just uh, some MF on the armor. So nothing too special outside of the Stone of Jordan that I found in Nightmare Act 2, the second unique that I found. But yeah, I'm going to show you guys several examples of items that you should be on the lookout for. Uh, because some of these magic items, as cray cray as it might sound, they're worth more than uh, nearly any unique you could think of, depending on the stats. So there, there's kind of a niche market for them, but it's, it's definitely there, especially toward the later part of the ladder. Folks are just willing to trade way up. Here we go, flying knife. That, that sells for a lot right there. Uh, fuck it, I guess I'll take it. I'll give it a shot. But yeah, it's just so important uh, to keep an eye out for some of these magic items. Now, it's, it's just part of the Diablo chase. Now, being how this is D2R, and it's not uh, PD2, for example, Project Diablo 2, where you can slam your items. You can get like a three-socketed Griffin's Eye, for example, which is pretty much going to rule out, you know, any uh, circlet you'd want for like a lightning sorcerer that's that's magic. But since this is D2, uh, D2R, I think that, uh, like J-Mod, for example, the shield, you know, you can have freaking Storm Shields J-Mod now in, in, in PD2, the modded version of Diablo 2. So you can actually, well, actually you can only slam three sockets into it, but... In Path of Diablo, for example, you can slam four sockets into Storm Shield, so all of a sudden it's better than J-Mod. 
You know, so JMod is kind of a piece of shit. But that's not the case in classic LOD, where JMod is actually a very desirable shield. And I'm going to show you guys that in just a minute here. But you can farm Anya. You got to look into the numbers, all right? Like, do some of the research, because uh, your character level is going to be partly dependent on the items that she sells. So I think if you get a character like in the late 80s or 90s even, you can farm some really nice claws from her. So, let me show you guys some examples. I'll start up here at the top. Here we go. Check this shit out. Alright, so, it's a Witch Hunter's Greater Talents of Quickness. This one rolled two to assassin skills, and then it has random skills rolled on it. In this example, more importantly, the plus three to lightning century. So you get three, four, five skills, five skills to lightning century in just one hand. And remember, you can dual wield claws as the assassin. So if you can make up for your resists elsewhere, you have a bunch of small charms, the 11 max res or something like that along the bottom, have the traps, GCs, things like that. Or just find resists elsewhere, right? You can do it, get a torch, get a nanny, things like that. You can really amp up your lightning sentry or death sentry as well. So these can be some of the most valuable items in the game. Quickness is very important because uh, it should add 40 increased attack speed because that does uh, apply toward your trap laying speed. You want increased attack speed, not only on your claws, but on your gear as well. You can of course use burst of speed to help supplement that, the skill. But mind you, if you have burst of speed, you can't use fade. So you have to make up for your resist elsewhere. So maybe a GG assassin would have something like this with a ton of IS on the weapons and then you don't need burst of speed as much. So you can use Fade, rather, for your Resolve, and then you can just really bump up your trap laying skills. All right, but well, this thing's freaking GG, and it uh, looks like this guy put two jewels in it, because that's the thing. With these magic items, see, this thing didn't come with sockets on, otherwise it would be called Jewelers, Artisans, or, or whatever the hell the term is for weapons when it comes to magic prefixes or suffixes that roll sockets. But what this guy did is he went to Larzuk and he used the Larzuk quest to socket it. Because the thing is, with magic items, sometimes you'll get more than one socket depending on what it's capable of getting. So there's actually a chance with the claw that you're going to get two sockets from the Larzuk quest. Now there's nothing you can do to control this. It's at random for the most part, okay? You gotta make sure the item level's high enough to maybe get uh, two sockets or more. But other than that, it's it's just chance, all right? So you go up to Larzuk and use the socket quest if you find a GG item like this, and you hope for two sockets. So this guy put in two different jewels in here that are actually the same jewel. The jewels each rolled 15 increased attack speed and 15 to all res. So you get these crazy uh, mods on this claw. It's, it's, it's toad as fuck. Alright, so here's the next one. Here's another example of one that uh, wasn't largely quested yet, and uh, they just didn't put in the, uh, the jewels in it. Now these are greater talents, you know, and that's also gonna be a factor. What type of claw is it? Because the different types of claws have different base attack speeds to them. Greater Talons and Runic Talons are pretty much the best ones you can get. If you find a Magic Runic Talons, like in Hell Mode anywhere, if you're running the Chaos Sanctuary Hell Mode and Runic Talons fall that are Magic, you better pick that shit up, dog, and identify it. Because that thing could be worth like 10, 15, 20 high runes, uh, depending on what it rolls. And if you, say, get two sockets from Larzuk, like that shit's going to be worth a lot if it rolls the right skills and shit, all right? And increase attack speed, of course. Let's see what else we got here. Droid Helms. So you gotta keep your little toads out for Droid Helms, all right? Uh, because uh, when you're, this is pretty much all applicable to when you're farming hell, all right? Just anywhere in hell. Like this is a uh, level 67 required to use this helm, but check this out. Three to elemental skills, three to tornado, 
55 to life, and this guy used the larger quest and got two sockets. So you could put like two Um runes in this, or better yet, of course, would be 15 uh, all res jewels with other mods on them. But an Um would be cheaper than that. So this is just cray cray. And you know, you might not want to put an Um in it. You can put a charm in it for it cannot be frozen, and you can get rid of that Raven Frost and uh, replace it with a Stone of Jordan or a BK Ring or some shit. All right, but. This helm is absolute toad. You you are a true toad if you wear this helm and say you put a Jarun in there and you put, I don't know, some other shit in there that is just epic. Uh, or, or a charm rune and maybe a Ja for increased uh, life percentage. You know, things like that. A shale rune even. I think a shale rune uh, shouldn't be overlooked. You get 20 uh, faster hit recovery from that. So that counts for a lot, man. But imagine a godly as fuck Windroid wearing this helm. You know, first they want to prioritize elemental skills, and then second to that, they want to prioritize tornado. And this rolls both of them six to tornado on this absolute slug. Uh, so, so keep your eyes out for shit like that. I know my patron Mud. Uh, he usually has a godly dodo, and I'm sure he'd love to have a helm like this. So, and that's just a wolf head. Look at it, it has eleven defense. See. So any droid helm, if you're running hell, pick that shit up and identify it if it's magic. And rare as well, of course, but this video ain't about rare. Jeweler's Archon Plate of the Toad. This is godly as fuck. Look at this. It's a perfect 100 life roll. So endgame players are going to want stuff like this, right? You're talk we're talking about the Jabazon who wants to poke the shit out of other players in PvP. Because you can put, say, four uh, light facets in here. Because in PvP, they stack up their light res, right? So you're going to want to pierce the hell out of that as much as you can. So you can put up to four facets in this thing. So you can pierce their lightning resistance by an additional 20%. And plus, you can have an enhanced 20% lightning skill damage. But that's not always even the case. You know, these are used for other things. You can put uh, 15 increased attack speed slash... 40% enhanced damage in this shit. In which case you're gonna get 60 IAS in total, which is 15% greater than what you get from treachery. And in addition to that, you get 160% enhanced damage. So of course it's not as good as fortitude when it comes to its damage output, but it might be essential to get that increased attack speed depending on what breakpoint you're looking to achieve and depending on what character and build type you're utilizing here, right? could have like an Amazon that uses Wind Force that needs to achieve a, a certain attack speed breakpoint. So this shit, I mean, there's a lot of different builds that could utilize something like this. I think primarily would be a Lightning Javazon, a Lightning Sorceress, an Amazon of a sort, and a few others as well. So yeah, this armor is an absolute hog. Uh, so keep an eye out. You, you gotta factor in what armors can roll four sockets if it gets the Jeweler's Mod. Uh, so really, a Gothic Plate can get it, for reals. An Embossed Plate, uh, you know, all versions of the Gothic Plate, basically. The Lacord Plate, but those have high strength requirements. So Gothic Plate would be good. Of course, it slows you down a little bit. It's a medium armor. So basically, you want light armors on this. But I mean, identify any of the fucking armors that can get four sockets, basically, is what you want to do. Full Plate Mail can get it. And of course, it's exceptional and elite version of that. Uh, obviously, Dusk Shroud can get it. So you want to get the Dusk Shroud. Uh, only the Elite version of the Quilted Armor can get four sockets. Uh, the Exceptional version will get uh, three sockets at max. So look for the Dusk Shroud, and that's one of the most desirable ones because it has such a low strength requirement and it has a lot of defense. And the same can be said, of course, about the Archon Plate. So probably the Dusk Shroud and the Archon Plate are the most desirable to get in this. But, but you got to factor in the other ones that can roll four sockets. You know, like even... Even, uh, I think a plate mail can. Can it? I know that the uh, the elite version of the plate mail can, but they have a ton of armor required. But you can make something interesting for your mercenary. But, I mean, basically, yeah, if you find something like this, this is worth a lot of high runes, all right? Like, in, in many cases, you could make an infinity with what you get from this. You can make an enigma and have change left. So, so keep an eye out for things like that. Jeweler's Terra of the Well. Now this one has, uh, they put shit in it. This one isn't super desirable, but some folks like it, all right? And uh, this one specifically, obviously, for an Amazon, you can hit a nice breakpoint and it still have some damage and life. 
So this one, what it rolled with, it didn't roll with increased attack speed, it didn't roll with the damage. All it rolled with was uh, the 94 life and three sockets. That's all it rolled with. So keep an eye out for something like that. These are some hog items. Check this out. Passive and magic skills, not very desirable, but replace that with whatever else. Replace it with traps. Replace it with three to lightning skills for the sorceress, three to fire skills for the sorceress, three to cold skills for the sorceress. See, so just imagine that, 30% uh, faster run walk, and then they Larza quested this thing and it got two sockets. Of course, passive and magic skills aren't worth much, but uh, it's still, I mean, keep that shit. You know, that's a collector's item right there. This is Toad. Cast rate, well, it helps with teleportation if you have Enigma, uh, because obviously your trap laying is reliant on attack speed. But uh, FCR is actually quite nice on an assassin for teleporting around. So three dollar traps. See, that's like my home, only with more mods on it. I might actually large luck this one just because I'm broke. And I'd love to get two sockets and uh, get some more MF on there for now. But yeah, three to traps. 20 FCR, then you have two sockets, you could put like two times um runes in there or something, or just have more MF. And that's just a circlet. The diadems and the coronets, or actually the diadems and the kieras, are the ones you especially want to go after. Because if those roll jeweler's mod, it can get uh, three sockets in total. But here we go, check this hog out. 3 to fire skills, 20 FCR, and this guy Lars looked it for, uh, for 2 sockets. Here's a Paladin one with 20 FCR. See, this is great for a Hammered it. This one has 30 all res because he put uh, 2 times uh, 15 all res jewels in there with a little bit of ha uh, faster hit recovery on it even. So in many cases, this is better than Shaco for a Paladin, by far, depending on what breakpoints you need. So this is absolute hog right here. I think it's going to be worth several high runes. Jeweler's Monarch of the Colossus. All right, so this isn't as good as uh, J Mod, for example, of Deflection. But then again, some would actually prefer this one. So you got to identify those magic monarchs. I mean, this thing, this shit's probably worth several high runes. This one's worth even more. Yeah, this is what everybody wants, man. Who 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 who's on the in on this stuff? They want J Mod, Jeweler's Monarch of Deflecting. All right. 30% faster block rate, 20% increased chance of blocking, and max four sockets. It's godly as a toad. See, here's an example. Uh, now, this one has a ton of strength. So, I mean, maybe you're a barbarian who just wants to look hog as fuck. And you don't really care that it has 232 strength requirement. You're okay with that. You're okay with making them sacrifices that it takes to get there. Or maybe you're, you know, wielding a big-ass maul anyway, so you're almost up to 232 anyway, some thunder maul or something. So, I mean, I would rather have, like, a jeweler's ancient armor. I believe that ancient armor can actually roll uh, four sockets, because you just look cool. You know, you look cool with the ancient armor or sacred armor on, especially when it's redded out like this. Ancient, it's not ideal, you know, the Ancient Armor, it's going to have quite low defense, uh, but some would argue defense doesn't really matter all that much, but to an extent it does. But nonetheless, even for an Ancient Armor, or, or maybe a healthy medium would be an ornate plate, which I think requires 160 strength. Here's what you really have to look for. Jeweler's Dust Shroud of the Whale. Check out that slug. 100 life, 4 sockets, <laughs> shit's probably worth like a lot of high runes, alright? Especially depending on where we're at in the ladder. So here we go. Here's just uh, another three traps. 40 IES, three to Lightning Sentry. So with these, you want to find them that roll Lightning Sentry or Death Sentry on them, basically. Uh, and for some niche builds, you want other skills. So always look them up if you find them. And sometimes they want pre-buffs as well. So you find them with like Venom on them and just two to Assassin skills or whatever. They use them on Switch for pre-buffs. Oh, hell yeah. Holy shit. Three to Lightning Sentry, so five Light Sentry in total. Uh, two Death Sentry in total. That's a hog. Yeah, that thing needs to be Larzucked right the toad now. You know, I would Larzuck that shit right now. Absolute hog. But yeah, keep an eye out for these items. Uh, let me know where you guys are at. 
in the season so far. Been having a good time, man. I've been running uh, Pindle some. Haven't found shit, but it's been a good time. You know, my assassin China is level 78. So it's it's been told, all right? So like the video if you will, become a patron if you want. Links in the description below. To those of you who are my patrons, may your finances be blessed. And may you have many wives. Peace be with you.